In this video shared by Dr. Gabriel Castillo from Sao Paulo, Brazil, we discuss the technique for drainage retinotomies. There are some reasons for creating a drainage retinotomy, such as incomplete drainage through the pre-existing break, no causative break found during the surgery, situations in which the PFO is not available or even to avoid and discriminate use of PFO. First, endodiathermy is applied briefly cauterizing the retina to create a non-perforated white spot, preferentially two or three disc diameters superior nasal to the optic disc. Thus, a soft or a hard tip cannula is used to create the retinotomy. The tip makes gentle contact with the retina. Then vacuum is applied. And the tip is carefully retracted, aiming to create a very small opening through which subretinal fluid may be removed during gas exchange. Again, in slow motion, approaching the tip to the retina until touching. Applying the vacuum and moving the cannula away to create the small hole. After the fluid air exchange, all the subretinal fluid was drained away, and the retina is completely attached. In the case of nasal detachment, as well as superior detachment, a superior nasal drainage retinotomy provides the best performance. Performing the retinotomy about three disc diameters away from the optic nerve allows for maximum subretinal fluid drainage, besides being away from the fovea decreasing scotoma's perception and sequela from a possible epiretinal membrane formation. In case of temporal detachments, a suprotemporal approach also works quite well. Finally, retinotomy in the inferior hemisphere is preferentially avoided, following the rationale of increased risk for PVR formation, as well as dislocation may be suboptimal for gas tamponade.